Precision rifles can cost you an arm and a leg, but there are top-notch and highly accurate options that will still leave you money for ammunition. We've listed the top 10 affordable precision rifles and their key features, plus some things you need to consider to help choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 10, the Mossberg MVP Precision. Mossberg had tinkered with chassis rigs previously, but it wasn't until the MVP Precision the gunmaker seemed to get it correct. Fairly unique in design, on target at the range and priced just right, the Slim Precision Rifle is an excellent gateway to long-range shooting, one many shooters might find can fill the role permanently without shopping up later on. As its name implies, the heart of the rifle is Mossberg's MVP Action a tested design that performs well in a number of the company's other rifles. It's well suited for its role in the chassis, fully enclosed and rigid enough to promote repeatable accuracy with a sturdy twin lug bolt. The safety is the only sticky point, fairly inaccessible when your hand is in its shooting grip. To this, Mossberg marries a bull barrel complete with a threaded muzzle for the addition of a break or suppressor if so desired. As to the length, the 308 Winchester sports a 20-inch barrel, and the 6.5 Creedmoor a 24-inch. These are then bedded in a slim yet sturdy chassis that has some nice features, including a removable stock system and compatibility with commonly found PMAGs, DPMS or SR25s, and M14 magazines. This keeps costs down in the long run, helping to tie the system together as Mossberg's somewhat underrated LBA trigger that trips right around the 3-pound mark. At the rear, Mossberg provides a Luth AR MBA3 stock, whose knob adjustment, LOP, comb height, and butt cast and height makes fitting the rifle quick and doable on the fly. The forend is also worth mentioning. Slim with ample M-lock real estate, it proves very versatile and with ample opportunities for mounting accessories. Number 9. The Steyr SSG-04 The SSG-04 bolt-action rifle from Steyr Arms features a heavy cold hammer forged barrel. It's available in 308 Winchester or 300 Winchester Magnum. The synthetic stock has an adjustable cheek riser and the length of pull is adjustable via butt plate inserts. The barrel and action both have a durable Mannix finish. Number eight, the Ruger Precision Rifle. The Ruger Precision Rifle was purpose built for long range shooting. Completely modular, this bolt action uses AR-15 style components so users can easily customize it to their needs. The barrel, stock, pistol grip, and handguard can all be swapped out if needed. Of course, Ruger built these rifles to perform as is, with M-lock slots for accessories and more. With a 70-degree bolt throw, the action is super smooth. Number 7. The CZ-557 Urban Counter Sniper The Urban Counter Sniper is a compact 308 Winchester bolt action with a 16-inch barrel. However, even though the barrel is short, it only loses 150 FPS compared to a standard barrel. Besides, the 308 gets a full burn in about 16 to 17 inches, and you can't beat this rifle's size for shorter engagements. Hence, it's Urban Moncure. The CZ's sweet spot for targets is about 400 yards, and the Manor's carbon fiber composite stock offers plenty of stability without the extra weight. Number 6. Performance Center TC LRR Some of the dandiest and deadliest single-shot rifles probably boast the TC roll mark and prove more than a match for weary elk, deer, and caribou. In recent years, the gunmaker has expanded its prowess to bolt actions, and with a little help from its parent company, Smith & Wesson, has whipped up a precision rifle paragon, the Performance Center TC LRR. The renowned Performance Center produces the aluminum chassis, which is, truthfully, a bit spartan, but it has it where it counts. It's stout as oak and has the adjustments you need to tailor it to your frame. To that end, both the cheek rise and the length of the pull dial in via thumb wheels, and each features dual guide rods for added stability. In addition to this, SNW contributes a tuned up trigger, adjustable from 2.5 to 3.5 pounds, a single stage outfit that's clean and very consistent. Admittedly, the blade's safety seems a bit out of place on the rifle, but not enough to turn your nose up to it. Action-wise, the LRR is nearly identical to what you find on the TC Compass, a three-lug fat bolt. It's easy to manufacture. This is where the gunmaker keeps production costs down. But you aren't settling by any stretch of the imagination. The design is strong and quick with an extremely terse bolt throw. 
the Performance Center LRR comes in 243 Win, 308 Win, and 6.5 Creedmoor. Number 5. The Browning X-Bolt Max Long Range Technically, we're behind the curve on Browning's TAC driver. The X-Bolt Max Long Range, or MLR, hit the scene in 2019, the gunmaker's attempt at a truly dedicated precision rifle. Wildly succeeding, Browning went the whole hog in 2020, pumping up the line with every conceivable caliber you might wish to pitch a country mile. In all, the MLR comes in 11 calibers, including long-range stalwarts like the 6mm Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 308 Winchester, as well as a host of belted and short magnums. In either case, Browning delivers a proven platform to launch them from. The solid action with 3-lug fat bolt is mated, in all calibers, with a 26-inch fluted heavy sporter barrel topped with a proprietary muzzle brake. This is bedded in Winchester Composite Max stock that, while light, provides the stiffness required for repeatable accuracy. Fully adjustable for length of pole through spacers and cheek rise, the rifle is also customizable to the individual shooter's frames. The chops go the distance, and it feels like Browning's aim was at a precision hunting rifle with the MLR. At a hair over 8 pounds, the rifle is less burdensome in the field and might be perfect for long-range shots during big country hunts. At the same tick, lacking a bull barrel and some of the recoil-eating heft of a dedicated long-range rifle, it might not be the first choice when it comes to a match gun. Number 4. The Tika T3X Ultimate Precision Rifle Tika has the uncanny ability to knock it out of the park each time when it steps up to the plate. So again is the case, as the talented Finnish company deals out another home run with the TX3 Ultimate Precision Rifle, or UPR. Rethinking the lightweight precision stock, Tika improved the bedding to create a seamless made-up, thus a platform solid as concrete footings. In particular, there's an extra layer of carbon fiber, fiberglass composite, improving the rigidity of this key interface, thus improving the rifle's accuracy potential. In short, the action isn't moving a little. The stock is also long, several other desirable features, including a rough and grippy finish, fully adjustable butt stock, and an excellent designed pistol grip. It's the perfect platform for the T3X action, and Tika's top-notch barrels, which themselves seem to over-deliver. Some of the UPR's finer points include a threaded muzzle, a 5 8 by 24 thread, choice between a single stage and set trigger, removable box magazine fed 20 MOA or 0 MOA rail option, and QD sling attachment points. Caliber choice includes long-range favorites like the 260 Remington, the 6.5 Creedmoor, and the 308 Winchester, and you have the alternative between 20 and 24-inch barrels for each chambering. The T3X UPR runs on the spendier side of the affordable precision rifles, but there's no arguing it's worth every penny. Number 3. The Winchester Renegade Long Range Focused, unshakingly set on hunting rifles, you'd be forgiven to believe Winchester was happy to let the precision rifle crazy sweep pass. This provided an ill-founded assumption. It seemed the historic gunmaker was only waiting on the right partnership. And this has come with one of the big names in the stock game, Graybo. Spawned from the iconic Macmillan family of stock, Graybo is a mid-tier brand with top-shelf performance. The particular model mated with Winchester's XPR barrel action is the Renegade and closely mirrors one of its parent company's most legendary models, the A5. In addition to lightweight fiberglass construction, the Renegade also boasts a wide beaver tail forearm, a svelte pistol grip, and a generous butt hook. About the only thing missing is a fully adjustable buttstock. Spacers give some play and length of pull, but the comb is set. As to the barreled action, Winchester has more than done their part. Button rifle barrel attached to the action via barrel nut, the XPR has built a reputation as an accurate field gun. The only knock on the precision build is the gunmaker has kept a sportier profile, which potentially means more barrel whip, especially in long strings. However, it does make it a bit more wieldy if you're in the market for a precision hunting rifle. Additionally, the company has included the MOA adjustable trigger and has threaded the muzzle, a bonus if you shoot suppressed. A nice feature, Winchester is offering 8 chamberings in the rifle including 243 Winchester, 6.5 Creedmoor, 7mm 8 Remington, 308 Winchester, 270 WSM, 300 WSM, and 6.5 PRC. Number 2. The Savage Axis 2 Precision Envisioned as a starting point for hunters, the Axis 2 shoots for the same in the long-range game. Savage's tried-and-true entry-level rifle has finally been decked out in a precision rifle configuration, none too soon for many shooters. For years now, budget marksmen have turned to the barreled action as the foundation of DIY entry-level long-range builds. Surprising no one, Savage turned to modular-driven technologies, or MDT, 
for the Axis II Precision chassis. The Canadian company's catalog runs the full gamut, but in recent years has cooked up several budget stocks for partnership with gunmakers. In the case of the Axis II, MDT customized the chassis specifically for the action, ensuring excellent metal-to-metal -metal bedding for a rock-solid made-up. Willowy at the forend, the chassis proper is beefy thanks to a polymer skin. Additionally, the buttstock is fully adjustable, including the LOP and cheek rise. The former, however, not on the fly. Spacers are the name of the game for LOP, and you'll have to tailor that at home. Customization in-house is also off the table. To keep the Axis II Precision's price down, Savage kept the barrel length at a uniform 22 inches no matter what the caliber. For the most part, this shouldn't prove an issue, given available chamberings in 243 Winchester, 223 Remington, 270 Winchester, 30-06 Springfield, 308 Winchester, and 6.5 Creedmoor all perform respectfully out of this length bore. Other notables on the rifle include adjustable AccuTrigger, M-Lock compatibility, ACIS magazine compatibility, threaded muzzles, and a 20 MOA rail. For shooters cutting their teeth on precision shooting, Savage has made it real difficult to refuse. Coming in at number one, the Savage 10-110 FCP HS Precision. Admittedly, Savage doesn't allot the customization many look for in a precision rifle with this long-range specialist. Regardless, the FCP HS Precision still has the chops to go the distance, be it in competition, tactical, or casual shooting situations. To this end, one of the rifle's most notable attributes is one of its most imperceptible, its bedding. Utilizing a V-block system, Savage's 10110 action firmly mates to the HC Precision's rigid fiberglass stock, eliminating any concerns about creep, even if you choose a brute caliber. And the gunmaker gives some stout choices, 300 Win Mag, 338 Lapua, in addition to the traditional 308 Win. Technically, the Lapua option falls outside the parameters of this video as being affordable, with a price tag of $1,759. Savage mounts a heavy contour barrel, fluted, on the 10-pound rifle and outfits the bolt with an oversized tactical handle. Of course, the FCP boasts Savage's excellent adjustable Accu trigger. Furthermore, it tops off the whole kit and caboodle with a muzzle brake to manage some of the recoil. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with comb or LOP adjustments. Outside of that, it has everything you need to shoot a country mile. So that wraps up our list of best affordable precision rifles. We hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave it a thumbs up as we always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, give suggestions for future videos, or ask any questions that you have. We love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to our channel, welcome to the All About Survival family. We got tons more videos coming your way. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you on the next video.